in the previous classes we have studied geography chapters civic civics chapters today we are going to start with the first chapter of history and the name of the chapter is the french revolution children up till 8th class we have studied history about our country india everything we have studied from the past ancient history to the medieval history and even the modern history but in class 9 we study about other countries the history of contemporary world in this chapter we study about the france what all happened in france so we are going to take a study about the french revolution children i don't think you might have heard about french revolution what was it but it was a great change which took place in france so we are going to discuss today about the background the background why did the french revolution took place and then we will study about monarchy i know you all are knowing the meaning of monarchy monarchy is the rule of king and then about the society what was the condition of society in france even in france the society was divided into three parts so that is all we are going to study today so children let's start with the explanation children as you can see these are the people the angered mob the people which are very much angry and this is an incident of 14th july 1789 the people they were too much angry they were angered mob and these angered mob these people they wanted to attack the bastille jail in the year 14th july 1789 and this is how they attacked the bastille jail the bastille jail and they burned the prison this is the real picture and this is this person he is the commander of this jail and as this commander was murdered all the prisoners who were present in this jail they were released they came out and they were very happy by releasing themselves and this is how then the jail the bastille was on fire and they burnt the whole bastille why because they wanted to burn the angered the angered people they wanted to burn all the official documents all the proofs how the people were tortured so they burned they put the bastille on fire and then they found themselves free from this bastille jail and children they were free and then came the time of revolution do you know the meaning of revolution revolution means political change change by lots of people in very short time and change for some genuine reason change for the rights of the people so children this is an incident which took place in france and it was named as french revolution which took place in 14th july 1789 and then children we shall discuss we shall go to the past the history of france at the time when king louis 16 prevailed this louis 16 he was born in the year 1774 in bourbon family and this is the real picture of king louis 16 and as he grew up in a very young age of 18 years he was married to a king of austria and her name was mari and then the uh, the 
parent the marital status was changed that is king louis 16 he belonged to france and mary she belonged to austria and then there came the marital alliance and children then finally king louis 16 sorry king louis 17 was born and their family continued and king louis 16 of the bourbon family now he was alliance with austria with mary from austria and there came the unity between france and austria and this is the palace the palace of versailles and this depicts the power of king louis 16 and children he was very crazy for his palace and he was really wanted to do anything to represent to keep his palace safe and secure and due to this craziness he attacked he attacked he bombarded he spent he did whatever he wanted to do and then the king louis 16 he was engrossed in war maintaining by having too many wars now children these are the few reasons why the outbreak took place in the bestial so many wars took place and he spent much money for maintaining the palace of versailles and do you know what he did he was very angry with britain this king louis 16 and he was like enemy of britain why because britain was the colonizer of 13 american colonies he colonized 13 american colonies and this louis 16 did not like at all and he wanted to be the part of britain and these were the few reasons as i have discussed just now that his treasury was becoming empty was declining why because he was engrossed in too much of wars he wanted to maintain the dignity of his palace and he fought he had a war with britain and he colon and he wanted to make this 13 american colonies independent from britain and then finally what happened in the country the people finally they have to suffer and they have to pay 10% interest on loan as the treasury was declined as there were lot of wars the palace of versailles lot of money was spent on maintaining the dignity and honor of palace of versailles so lot of money was spent and then the he took interest the 10% interest on loans he had took so many loans and for each loan 10% interest was charged and then he had he also had to spend too much money in giving the salary to his employees to his officials so this is how his treasury was becoming empty and empty day by day and then finally came the position of financial crisis in the country children till now we have studied about the political administration in the country that is how the king's position became worse and then we have seen how the bastille was attacked and bombarded now we shall discuss about the society of france so the the society of france was divided into three first state was known as clergy second state is nobility and third state the other people belong children now you might be wondering what is this clergy nobility in the first state that is on the top post position is the clergy clergy means the priests 
the priests and the church people. Second estate includes nobility. Nobility means the officials, the officers. And the third estate were the other people, the people who were traders, the farmers, artisans and children. Do you know that the maximum people came in the third estate? And then came the time of taxes. And I think you all might believe and you might be knowing or you might be well aware that who suffers a lot? Finally, it is the lower, the poor class people who suffers a lot. So that is the same thing happened. The first estate and the second estate, that is the clergy and the nobility, they don't have to pay any tax and all the taxes they were levied on the third estate of the people and especially on the poor farmers who did not own the land and but they worked on the other people's land, other officials land and they have to pay the taxes on each harvest and the farmers who came under the clutches of the taxation policy of France and what all privileges they were given for these first estate and second estate. The first privilege was no tax they have to pay and the third estate people they worked for these first and second estate people and above all that they received the taxes from the third estate and children there were two types of taxes which these poor third estate people had to pay one was the direct tax and the other was the indirect tax the direct tax was named as tail and the indirect tax was named as tithe and this tax tithe they have to pay to the first estate which they paid for the 10% of their harvest. That is, whenever there is harvest season, whenever their crops were harvested, on each crop they had to pay 10% of the taxes to the first estate, that is the clergy. I hope children, you all are getting what I am explaining. And for more explanation, for more clear understanding, you have to refer your NCRT book chapter 1. And then children, what was the condition of France in the year 1715? There was the population of 23 million. But by the time 1789 came, the population increased to 28 million. As the population was increasing children, the production was lessening the har why because they are the farmers the poor farmers they have to pay the 10 percent on every on every harvest so day by day year by year the condition of the people in the third estate was worsening and then the time came when the people there was crisis for the food the people they were wandering here and there in search of bread as bread was the staple food of france and the population was increasing but the food was out of stock so there came the time period of inflation inflation is the t uh, rise in the prices of the commodities as compared with the demand so whatever little uh, the food they had their prices broke up and the farmers they could not meet the demands of the people and there came the time of subsistence crisis in the country children what is subsistence crisis subsistence, subsistence crisis is the food and the other needs of peoples they are not met and this is caused by an economical crisis the subsistence crisis means that the demands could not be fulfilled as compared to the supply 
because the population was increasing and the demand was too much but the supply the production was quite less so everywhere in the country there was scarcity of food and above all the taxation was on top whatever they produced the third estate people they have to pay to the first estate as taxes so the condition in the country was becoming quite worse and then in 14th july 1789 the people the three thinkers they they were become quite active in the country among uh, amongst them one was john locke he wrote a book two treaties of government in that book he referred that the people there should be government policy some the power should not be centralized that it should not be in one hand it should be divided amongst other officials other uh, people in the country and then jean jacques rousseau he wrote a book the social contract or principles of political right and then came another philosopher named montesquieu and children as we have in india like the power is divided into three organs that is legis legislature executive and judiciary in the same way montesquieu demanded that power must be divided in the country and children you do you know what happened when these three philosophers they became quite active and printed their books their their ideas their opinions and their ideology they were discussed in every nook and corner of the country in every public places they discussed these ideology and their ideology became quite famous in the country and even the people they became aware that all what is written all what is exchanged in these books and was circulated in whole of the country and the people they became quite active so this is all for today children in the next class we'll be discussing what was the condition of the third estate how they reacted to the the ideology of these philosophers till then children you please go all of you go through the chapter and try to understand the beginning of the chapter about the bastille about the versailles and also about the division in the france society that's all for today thank you have a good day